Girl, turn around. What's good, everybody? And welcome back to HTTPS colon backslash backslash www.youtube.com slash Will on the Web. You might notice that our friend, our confidant, and biological mother, Beyonce, is not with us today. She's actually out house shopping. She is looking for a new house. That's what she's looking for. So she'll be back at some point. Before we get into things, shout out to Maui Moisture. <laughs> This video is sponsored by Maui Moisture. Because you know what? Matter of fact, tip number zero, get you some products that have aloe vera as the first ingredient. Not the second, not the fifth, not the 5th, 11th, the first. Maui Moisture actually calls aloe vera the moisture miracle, which I ain't gonna embarrass you in front of your little friends, okay? But that's kind of sounding like something you need right now. Oh my goodness. What? <gasps> what, you wanna fight me? You wanna fight me? Instead of deionized water, which is the first ingredient in most shampoos and most conditioners, Maui Moisture actually uses aloe vera, which is a humectant. It's a natural way to ensure that your hair holds on to water. It gives you bounce, body, and it just makes sure that your hair looks healthy. I have a few products here with me. I have the vanilla bean hair butter, which it smells just like that, okay? It smells like some ice cream. <laughs> Oh my God, it does smell like ice cream. <laughs> I like that. From the Heal and Hydrate Shea Butter line, we have the conditioner and the shampoo, as well as the hair mask. And then from the Curl Quench Coconut Oil line, we have the conditioner and the Curl Smoothie, which this personally is my favorite. I'm obsessed with it. It's creamy, it smells good. I use it a few days ago and my hair is still moisturized and popping. All of these products feature a 100% vegan formula. They're also cruelty-free, free of parabens, silicone, sulfated surfactants, you know, synthetic dyes, gluten, no mineral oil, it's just good. Also, I've seen that they're on the more affordable side, which I know is important to a lot of us. So what more could you ask for? Okay, girl, quality ingredients, quality price. Definitely check out the description box so you can find out more information on where you can get yourself some Maui Moisture. Shout out once again to Maui Moisture for sponsoring today's video. Let's get into some hacks. Okay, now let's talk. No, let's rap. Oh no, gosh, no, don't, don't do, do that. that. Oh my God, he's gonna do it. Back in December, I cut my hair. Clue to NYC on that cheap airfare. Diva cut with the scissors had me shaking in my chair. About two inches going short hair, don't, don't care. care. Six months uh, later, you can uh, call me uh, Rapunzel. Yeah. Hair stores begging me back to buy the bundles. I told them they gonna have to really chill with all that cause we'll on the wind coming through a hair hacks. Let's get into it. Hack numero, number one. Hey yo, your drain is choking. Uh, yo, your drain is choking, sis. It can't breathe. And it's your fault because your hair is slipping and sliding down the drain like it's a water slide at Hershey Park. So there's sort of like three hacks here. One, you can get a drain stopper or a hair catcher. I've talked about this a few times. We ain't gonna spend too much time on this. It's a real simple thing. I have this silicone one. You just pop it in your drain. It catches all of the hair and you pull it out and you clean the little silicone thing off and then boom, you ain't gotta call the plumber, which but what if I drain it's already clogged? What do I do? Okay, hack number two. So many people, for whatever reason, don't know about drain snakes. Go cal calm down. It ain't an actual snake. Drain snakes are these things, they're about two feet long, that you stick down your drain. And then you pull it back up and all of the hair or anything that's stuck in your drain gets caught and removed on these hooks. It's perfect for hair. And I know a lot of y'all out there taking those bath showers. You know what I'm talking about, those bath showers where there's like a two inch puddle of water in your bath and while you're taking a shower. Get you a drain snake, it saves lives, especially with curly hair. Hack number three is for people who don't wanna get a drain stopper or two, they don't wanna be snaking up their drains. Detangle your hair, but you can do it kind of in a smarter way in terms of getting all the hair out. With a brush or a comb, you kind of can comb your hair out or brush your hair and all of the hair gets stuck in the brush and you can remove the hair from the brush and you can toss it in the trash. But when your finger detangling in the shower, as the hair collects on your hand, just take it, rub your hands, do just like that. Do just like that, sis. Rub your hands in a circular motions together just like that. And it'll form a perfect cute little hairball that you'll be able to sit on the side of your bathroom ledge and dispose of when you exit the shower. This is one of my favorite hacks because it makes me feel like a magician. Putting on a show for nobody, but it's fun. Hack number five, um, throw all your hair products away. What? <laughs> what is he talking about? After the expiration date. Hair products, because they're chock full of nutrients and because when you put the lid on them, they're dark and moist environments, are very good environments for bacteria. So typically formulas will include preservatives and antimicrobials to sort of prevent that issue, but those things only last for so long. On the back of most products, you'll actually see a little symbol that tells you how many months typically, or even years, that your product is good for 
post opening it. So for example, this one is good for 18 months. Take a mental note of when you open the product or take a Sharpie and write the date underneath the cap or somewhere on the bottle. That way you have a date by which you can measure how long you should keep your product. Hack number six, the trims, the trims, the trims are absolutely worth it. Go to a professional, like literally go to somebody who's been trained in trimming hair, who has the best shears and all that stuff to cut your hair. It is worth the investment. When I got my hair cut back in December, I saw my hair immediately spring back to life. Getting rid of all those dead ends means getting rid of also lots of tangles, lots of frizziness, a whole bunch of things that just don't make your hair nice and bouncy and moisturized. Also, it gives you a little bit of piece of shape. <laughs> for that hair, okay? Now, if you yourself can cosplay as Edward Scissor's hands and trim your own hair without looking like you ran it through a cheese grater, then all the power to you. I personally just realized that I am not that good at it. So hack number seven is when you can work in sections, do so. I get so triggered when I see people just get some product and they just go like this. I'm like, girl, stop. Girl, stop right now. With natural hair, it really pays to have a hair care routine that is geared towards cleaning and moisturizing each individual hair strand. Now you ain't gotta do it one strand by strand. We can all die and come back before you be finished with your hair. But what I like to do is just work in sections. I typically work with my right and my left side as two separate sections, but it depends on the thickness of your own hair, whether you wanna do two sections, four sections, 10 sections, however many sections you need. I used to have parts of my head where the hair was like breaking off more than other parts. And I was kind of wondering like why that was happening. And it's kind of because I wasn't paying attention to all of the hair on my head when I was putting product in. So if you're dealing with that, I would say be gentle first of all, but also work in sections and be thorough. Hack number eight, um, you woke up angry at the world. And I get it, okay, I really do. I'm still mad at Apple for taking away the earphone jack and making me buy $150 AirPods. But why does this matter? Well, you're stressed. And typically when you're stressed and frustrated, you don't take care of your hair gently. You're more likely to just rip through a knot if you're detangling your hair, more likely to take those shortcuts that do nothing but a disservice to your hair. So this one is more of a woosah, but make sure that you're in a good mental space when you come to take care of your hair. Try and set up like an intention behind doing your hair. So throughout the day or even throughout the week, I'll be like, oh my God, I can't wait for Sunday. I'm just gonna like have a me day. I'm gonna sit and I'm gonna take care of my hair. And I sort of get into that mental space or prepare myself for the moment so that I can meet my hair on a good note. Versus being like, oh my God, like oh, I have to do this hair. I don't got no time for it, but I'm gonna get it done. Approaching your hair care as self-care does a lot for the health of your hair. I like to set up my space real chill. I'll have my Netflix out while I'm doing my hair. Maybe a little drink drink to the side. Just a moment for me to have to myself like every Sunday. You should try it out. Okay, hack number nine. Clip your dinosaur nails. Clip them. Wow! You're serving me cat nails. Your nails will most certainly knuck if you buck. Snag if you drag. Pulling out your hair strands unnecessarily. Just clip your nails. That's like one of the simplest hacks out there and it has one of the biggest effects. Get on it. Hack number 10 is fiber. Now why does this, why? Why does this, why you talk about this, Will? Fiber, but also just better nutrition overall. Making sure that you're getting foods with also biotin in it. Things like that will help you extract all the nutrients from your food so that you can actually use those nutrients to build your body. So if Nutter Butters is what you ate for dinner last night, make sure you start to add some veggies. Okay, girl, get into the veggies. Maybe get a supplement. I like doing supplements. I have a fiber supplement that I use every single day in a smoothie, and I feel like it really does help with the, my skin, my hair, my nails. Hack number 11, discounts, baby girl. Discount stores, that's what I like to hear. Hit up the discount stores, okay? TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross, Home Goods. Well, not Home Goods. But most of these stores actually have a shelf of hair products that are your faves that you can get for like half off, 75% off. Girl, they just be slashing the price down and you can get it for cheaper. Hack number 12, this is kind of a fun one. I would say get a speaker, a Bluetooth speaker or some waterproof Bluetooth situation that you can put in your shower to play the jams, to play the tunes or the tunes, as they would say in UK, while you're washing your hair because... For natural hair, it typically takes longer. You know, you have to shampoo. We have to do infections, condition, the tangle, deep condition. And it takes kind of a long time. Why not put on a little bit of Beyonce self-title? A little piece of Pink Friday. Enjoy yourself, make natural hair care fun, easy. Hack number 13 is for those of you out there who want bigger buns. Excuse me, what did you say? Yeah, or bigger puffs or whatever you wanna call them. You can find oversized hair ties from just about anywhere. You put them on and automatically it's like your hair bun is bigger or your hair puff is bigger. I usually wear them because it keeps the all the hair out of my face. Ain't nobody got time for that. But the larger circumference of the hair tie does make your puff look larger. And so if that's something you're into, I would say that this hack is for you. 
hack number 14, the last hack is to use your eyes, people. When you're in the hair care aisle, okay, the little itty bitty ethnic hair care section way in the back. Cute packaging is cool, but make sure you look at what's inside them products. Like with Maui Moisture, they have aloe vera as the first ingredient. So turn the bottles over and see what ingredients are in there. If you know that your hair doesn't like glycerin, or if your hair doesn't like silicone, or whatever it is, just don't use it, okay? It'll save you a lot of money, a lot of time, if you actually are smart and intentional when you go into the aisle and you look at products that you're gonna buy. I'm still learning to this day what my hair likes and what it doesn't like. As I do learn, I keep note of it and I make sure that I use that information when I'm purchasing new products. But that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed it and learned something. I tried to bring up some new hacks that maybe I haven't talked about on this channel before, or maybe some ones that you haven't heard or some one of some of them that you just maybe need to hear again. But if you're interested in more of those hair hack videos, definitely check them out. I have a bunch on my channel. Shout out once again to Mari Moisture for sponsoring this video. Thank you so much. If you wanna check those products out, I'll have them linked down below. And if you wanna stick around and be my friend, be my homie, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, my second YouTube channel, Will On A Whim More, and TikTok. I hope to see you all back here real soon for another episode of Will On A Whim. But until then, bye.